بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the range of address is always 255 so you cannot go beyond that that is a default uh, range of ip addresses so all zeros and the last address will be all 255s and this range the range of addresses from 0 to 255 is further classified into classes again so we have something like abc classes a b c d e so any address in the range of 0 to 127 so if you see any address starting from 0 to 127 uh we need to understand that it is an a class and any address ranging from 128 to 191 is in the range of b class and any address in the range of 192 to 223 is in the c class similar way 224 to 239 is in the d class and 240 to 255 is in the class e now again remember this classes this is based on the first portion not based on the second third Uh, portions like here i got some examples here so sample ip addresses i have given here now our job is to identify which class they belongs so if you see this address so in this address the classes are divided only based on the first portion remember this so this can be any number in this range whatever is given here so you have to see the first portion only see the first portion don't see the second third fourth because the second third fourth portions this can be anything from 0 to 255 so the classes are not uh, based on the second third or fourth octet so you can say either octet or portions so if the first octet is in the range of 0 to 127 then we call it as a a class if the first octet is in the range of 128 to 191 b class similar way first octet c class uh c class and d class as well as Uh, class e so here if i go with this example here so if i if i go with the first example here so the first portion is 10 so 10 comes in the range of a class so i'll say this is my a class address likewise if i go with the second example i i just see only the first portion so don't see the other portions 180 180 comes in the range of uh, b class so this is your b class address and i go with a third example 166 so 166 comes in the range of b so this is going to be b class and the fourth one 222 so 222 comes in the range of this c class so i'll say this is my c class example likewise if i go with the last one 230 230 comes in the range of class d so we'll say this address is a class d example so only see the first portion so if you see the range here so the range is based on the first portion only so if the first portion is uh, in this range so you can see the remaining three portions can be anything from 0 to 255 so that doesn't make any difference only see the first octet so whenever we see any ip address so the first thing we should be in a position to identify which class that ip address belongs and once we understand that the next thing is we need to know the the classes what they are used for like in normal lan and wan scenarios in our networks normal networks whether it is in a lan or wan we will be using only abc classes so we can use only abc classes not uh, the other classes because the class d is reserved for multicasting whereas we cannot use this address to any any device in the network uh, multicast traffic for hosting some multicast uh, multicast video conferencing applications like I'll, i'll just come to the multicasting example what exactly it is the unicast broadcast and multicast probably in the next uh, next section in the next topic and the class e is reserved for uh, research and development something called well, r and d so practically will not be using these two uh in general so if i go and try to verify that so if i go to my local area connection properties and if i try to assign the ip address in the range of class abc i can assign let's say i'm giving 192.168.1.10 1 so 192 comes in the class range of c the device of course subnet mask will talk about this later so the device will accept 
So if I try to give any ABC classes, it will accept. So if I try to give any address like 225, you can see it clearly says that any address, if you're typing in 225, 225 comes under the class D. So the valid is not a valid entry. So please specify the values only between one and 223. Again, zero is not used. Uh, we'll, we'll see that reserved addresses. So basically it should be anything from one to 223. 223 is the last address of the class C. So we cannot use class D. So even if you try any address like 250 also, the, the device is not going to accept. So 250 is not a valid entry. Please specify the values only in between one to 223. But the remaining addresses, you can use anything. Like here, I can use 255, not a problem. Okay, so this device will accept here. But remember the first portion, because the range is divided or given based on the first portion only. So identify based on the first portion. So the ABC classes we use in our normal LAN and WAN communications where we can assign to any device in the network. But whereas class D or class E addresses are reserved and we cannot use them in our normal networks. 